Coming into 2013, the careers of Adam Scott and Justin Rose had been mirror images. Phenoms turned superstars, now entering their prime golfing years. Both 32, with huge wins on the PGA Tour under their belts. Justin Rose has won the WGC Cadillac Championship. The youngest champion in the history of the Players' Championship. But also the struggles that come along with life in golf. And both without a major championship. As you play more golf and you get older, you have more highs and lows and you learn to deal with them better. And the great thing about golf, there's always going to be another tournament. Whether it's your Saturday competition at your golf club, a big junior tournament on the Masters. I sort of was lucky enough to win a couple of regular PJ Tour events and a playoff event and a world golf event. The way I've been trending the last few years, I feel like I've begun to start talking about winning major championships and feeling like that was the next logical step for me in my career. Those guys have been out here for a while. They've been kind of the can't miss project. They're great players, kept plugging along and then had their opportunities. Sometimes winning a major does take time and does require a little bit of experience, does require a couple of close calls before you feel like you're ready to break through. For Rose and Scott, 2013 was the year where their career paths could have taken a number of divergent turns. But not surprisingly, the friends not only continued their eerily similar walks to greatness, in part, they did it together. It was almost like a bit of an out-of-body experience. In that moment, the atmosphere is incredible. My dad passed away 11 years ago, and the fact it was Father's Day, he was just very much present in my thoughts. A lifetime of work and effort gone into getting to this position and then to make it is a huge adrenaline rush. I was surprised at how good it felt for me, even not having my dad there, but just what a, what a special moment that was. I've hit that putt a hundred times on a putting green as a kid. It's something that I'll never forget from my golfing career. Scott's Masters triumph was the first for an Australian. After the win, he texted Rose this simple message. This is your time. This is our time to win these tournaments. Two months later at Marion, Rose became the first Englishman to win the US Open in 43 years. It was really cool to see Adam win. Breaking through, winning the Masters was just amazing. We're maturing, we're hitting our peak. Historically, golfers have been pretty good in around their mid-30s. I felt like that's what he had figured out. It's just a matter of knowing it's your time. There's no doubt our careers have been similar in path and I appreciated his happiness for me for winning the Masters. He said that it probably spurred him on. I wasn't surprised when he wore that US Open course down on Sunday. It was extremely satisfying for me to see that because he thoroughly deserved that.